All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this uh, quiz review going. I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible. Uh, it says solve the system by graphing. If I do, I see my y-intercept is at 4. I know my slope is negative 1 over 1, so that means I'll go down 1 and over 1. That's where my two dots are. I'll make a line that connects them, and I'll go to my next one. I know this one starts at negative 8. Negative 8 is about right here, and my slope is 2 over 1, right? So that means I'm going to go up 2 and over 1. That puts me a dot here and here, and I connect them. I see that the graphs intersect at x is 4 and y is 0. So 4 and 0 is my answer. Let's go ahead and go to number 2. Number 2 says solve the system by substitution. I'm going to take y since it equals 10x minus 8, and I'm going to replace y here with it. So now uh, my y in this problem is x or 10x minus 8. I'm going to distribute my properties. This will be 30x minus 24. I'll combine my like terms. 30x minus 5x is going to be 25x. I'm going to combine my like terms on opposite sides, so I'm going to add 24 to both sides. 51 plus 24 is going to give me 75. And now I'll divide by 25. And that's going to go and give me 25 divided by or 5 divided by 25. That's 3. So x is 3. Now I got to solve for y. Uh, since x is 3, I don't know which one I'm going to plug this in. I would put it in here, and that would be. Uh, 30 minus 8, and 30 minus 8 is 24, uh, and that's what they did. They put uh, x uh, in 30 in place of x, all right, and then they went ahead and said uh, 10 times 3 is 30, and 30 minus 8 is 24, and that means uh, y has to be 24. All right, let's move on. Uh, this one says solve the system by elimination. If I'm eliminating things, I see that, well, I've got x minus y equals 2, 2x plus 7y equals 9. I'm going to multiply everything up here by probably negative 2. Yes. And that will give me negative 2 times x. That's negative 2x. Negative 2 times y, negative 2y. And negative 2 times 2, that's negative 4. Now I... Uh, 2x minus 2x is 0. 7y minus 2y is 5y, and 9 minus 4 is 5. I'll divide by 5 to isolate my variable. 5 divided by 5 is 1, so y is 1. I'm going to plug 1 right into this problem, and what plus 1 equals 2? That's pretty easy. 1. So x is 1. Uh, it's like my uh, set is going to be 1 and 1. Let's go ahead and go to number 4. Determine the number of solutions. All right, what number of solutions can I get with this? Uh, I could substitute, once again, because I know what y is here, and I could replace this with it to solve it. Um, let's see. I also could go ahead and multiply. Let's see. I could take this one and bring it over here and then divide by 2. Let's see which way they went. It says get y by itself. So we're going to take this 12x and subtract it from both sides. That's going to give us... 2y equals negative uh, 12x minus 6. You see right here they're going to subtract 2 or 12x from both sides. All right? And for those that didn't catch that, all they did was minus 12x here and minus 12x here. That enabled my 2y to come down, my negative 6 to come down, and my negative 12x to come down. Now they're going to divide everything here probably by 2 because that's going to get y by itself. Yep, they divided everything by 2. See, 2y divided by 2, that's going to give me 1y. Negative 12 divided by 2, that's going to give me negative 6x. And negative 6 x or negative 6 divided by 2, that's going to give me a negative 3. And now I can see that I have the same identical problem. Uh, look at the top one is y equals negative 6x minus 3. The bottom was y equals negative, negative 6x minus 3. This is infinitely many solutions are all real numbers. Okay, answer is all real numbers. Let's go to number 5. Number 5 says the music website charges x dollars for individual songs and y dollars for entire albums. Person A pays $25.92 to download six individual songs. 
and two ohms, uh, which means we're going to have something like 6x uh, plus 2y equals $25.92. Person B pays $33.93 to download four individual songs in three albums, which means we're going to have something like 4x plus 3y equals $33.93. There's our two problems there. Now it says how much does the website charge to download a song? That means they want to know what x is and the entire album. They want to know what y is. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to multiply the top by 3 and multiply the bottom by negative 3. Uh, and that, or excuse me, by negative 2. And that will make my y's the same. And that's exactly what they did. They multiplied the top by 3, and that would make th 2 times 3 is 6, and the bottom by negative 2, because that will give me a negative 6. And let's work this out. 3 times 6x is 18x. 3 times 2y is 6y, and 3 times 25.92 is 77.76. Then that, that negative 2 times 4x would be negative 8x. Negative 2 times 3y would be negative 6y, and negative 2 times 33.93 will give me negative 67.86. Now I'm going to eliminate. I can eliminate 6y from 6y. This will give me 18x minus 18x, which is 10x. And this will give me 7776 minus 6786, which is 999. Then I have to divide by 10 to get x by itself. And x is going to be 99 cents. So that tells me the individual songs are 99 cents. Now I'm going to plug that into the problem. Uh, I'm going to go with the first one. And I'm going to replace x with 99 cents. 6 times 99 cents is $5.94. Now I'm going to combine like truth by subtracting 594 from both sides. And for those that didn't see that, I'm going to show it over here. A minus $5.94 from both sides to combine like terms. And then they took 25.92 and minus 594. That gave them 19.98. Next, they divided by 2y, and that gave $9.99. So the albums are $9.99. The individuals are $0.99. Cents. The album, $9.99. Let's go to number six. Number six says, tell whether the ordered pair is a solution of the system of linear equations. Well, for that, I'm just going to plug in 5 for x and negative 6 for y for both of these. So uh, 6 times 5 is 30. And they, uh, 3 times negative 6 is negative 18. And 18, or 30 minus 18, is 12. So that works. Next, I'm going to take uh, 4x plus y, and I'm going to replace x with 5 and y with negative 6. And now I'm going to work this one out. I see 4 times 5 is 20. And then this is simply minus 6. That's going to give me uh, 14, and that's exactly what I got. The solution is 5 and negative 6. All right, let's go ahead and move on to number 7. Number 7 says uh, you use bottles of 100% fruit juice and 20% fruit juice to make fruit punch for a party. How many quarts of each type of juice should you mix to make 6 quarts? All right, so I know that there's 6 quarts, so... A certain amount of fruit juice, which we will call 100% fruit juice, which we will call X, plus the amount of 20% fruit juice, which we will call Y, will equal six quarts. We also know that 100% of X plus 100% of or 20% of Y will equal 80%. But we can't use percents and problems. We have to move the decimal over twice. So this is going to be a one. This would be a 0.2, and this would be a 0.8. So now we have x plus y equals 6, that's 6 quarts. And we have 1x plus uh, 0.2y equals uh, 0 0.6 time, 0.8 times 6. Well, uh, 1x is just x, so this is x 
minus x, I can use subtract for uh, elimination here, but that's going to make this a neg uh, uh, a minus, yeah, hold on. If I was to do this, I would take all this and subtract it, and that's going to make all the signs different. That will make this negative, that will make this negative, that will make uh, this negative. That's going to give me y plus, x plus y equals 6. And then remember, this is going to be x. This would be 0.2y. This would be uh, 4.8. Remember what I'm saying. You have to subtract everything. And when you do, all these become the opposite sign. So now x minus x is 0. Uh, y minus... 0.2y will be 0.8y, and then 6 minus 4.8 will be 1.2. We're going to divide 0.8 away, and that's going to give us 1.5 for y. Now we're going to plug that in to this problem. x plus 1.5 will equal 6, and uh, 6 minus 1.5 is 4.5, and so we know that x is 4.5 and y is 1.5. That means there's 4.5 quarts of 100% use and 1.5 quarts of 20% use. All right, let's go ahead and work number eight. So solve the system. Well, if I'm going to solve this, I can simply use uh, elimination here. Uh, X minus X will give me zero. 2Y minus 2Y will give me zero. And then we have seven uh, plus seven. Now don't subtract this because remember, we added all this. We never subtracted it. If I would have subtracted all this would have been the opposite sign. So this is going to give me 0 equals 7. There are no solutions here. Right? Because this is 0. 0 does not equal 14. The answer is no solutions. All right. Let's move on. Or number 9. Let's see. Solve the system. Uh, well, I could put these equal to each other using substitution. Because if y equals negative 2x minus 4, and y equals 2x minus 4, these can be equal to each other. Now I can combine like terms. I'm going to add 2x to both sides, and that will give me a 4x over here, and negative 4 and negative 4 come down. Then I'm going to add 4 over here, which means I'll add 4 over here, and 4 minus 4 is 0. And when we divide by 4 from both sides, something they're not showing here, I would be dividing by 4 to get x by itself. Then 0 divided by 4 is 0. And this should have read 0 equals x, but it's the same thing, right? x equals 0, 0 equals x. Now I'm going to plug 0 in for one of my problems, either one of them. And if I do this, I'm going to have y equals, well, Negative 2 times 0 is 0. And that means y must equal negative 4. Right? So um, that means I've got x is 0 and y is negative 4. Number 10 is up. And it says solve the system. Uh, well, I'm going to have to go ahead and do some things here. Uh, if it was me, I think I would use division. So I would come over here, and I would divide everything up here by 3. And if I did that, that would give me, well, 9 divided by 3 is 3, so that would give me 3x. Negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5y. And 24 divided by 3, that's going to be 8. Next, I can divide everything here by negative 2. Uh, that's going to give me, let's see, uh, 6x minus 2 would give me negative 3x. Negative 10y divided by negative 2 would give me positive 5y. And negative 16 divided by negative 2 would give me a positive 8. Now, when I use elimination, 3x minus 3x is 0x's. 5y minus 5y will give me 
zero y's, and 8 plus 8 is 16. And I know 0 never equals 16. So that tells me there are no solutions here. Let's see what they come up with. Uh, they did it a different way. They decided to multiply the top by negative 2 and multiply the bottom by positive 3. This is going to give me a negative 18x plus 30y equals negative 48. And an 18x minus 30y equals negative 48. Once again, 18x minus 18x is 0. 30y minus 30y is 0. And negative 48 minus 48 is negative 96. 0 does not equal 96. There are no solutions to this. And after reviewing all of them, I hope you will go ahead and look over these in your notes uh, and get ready for the test. Good luck, and I'll see you in class for grading.